Karl Lux was born in Germany to a large family of Jewish Germans in 1818. Though Karl's family practiced Judaism, his father had to convert to Christianity to continue practicing law. Following in his father's footsteps, Karl Marx also studied law and philosophy when he went to the universities of Bonn and Berlin, earning his doctorates in these areas. Despite studying law and philosophy, Marx became a professional journalist for the Rheinische Zeitung in 1842. As a journalist during the Industrial Revolution in Europe, Marx witnessed and wrote about the horrors of capitalism and how poorly workers were being treated. Despite working conditions and the enlarging chasm between the wealthy and poor drove Marx to write about controversial topics and subsequently caused the government to censor Marx's publishing, eventually threatening Marx and causing him to flee Germany three times with his family. Marx's family consisted of his wife, Jenny von Westphaling, and his seven children. Only three of his children, Jenny, Laura, and Eleanor, grew up to become adults. Towards the end of Marx's life, he traveled across Europe after being exiled from Germany once more and passed away in 1883, shortly after his wife and his daughter, Jenny. Marx's life was greatly influenced by the vast changes brought about by the Industrial Revolution that spread throughout Europe. Growing up in post-Industrial post Revolution Germany, Marx saw the horrible effects that capitalism had on the working class through his profession as a journalist. Marx tried to explode, expose these cruelties through his journalist work, but the German government relentlessly censored Marx's work. Marx's continued continuation of trying to expose capitalism led to the German government threatening him, causing Marx to flee Germany. While this exile might have caused Marx to flee his home country, it also pushed him to become more radical in his ideology of wanting to get rid of capitalism and search for a new social order. But how did Marx come to this type of radical mindset that led him to be in exile from his own country? From his childhood, Marx had been highly influenced by Friedrich Hegel, who was a prominent philosophical figure in Germany. Despite his somewhat radical views, Hegel's ideologies were commonly taught in the German education system. Being introduced to Hegel at an early age, Marx's worldview was based around Hegel's ideologies of the cunning of reason and its dialect. But Marx did not fully agree with he Hegel's ideologies. They both agreed that humanity was focused on the struggle of labor, which sparked Marx's controversial theories. Another significant point in Marx's life that shaped his worldview were his three instances of being exiled from Germany. In his first exile, Marx fled to Paris, where he published his 1844 manuscripts, after being, which began his foundational works for his Marxist ideology. In his second exile, Marx fled to Belgium and Brussels, where the nation had begun to rapidly industrialize and cause major problems for its workers. Marx saw these terrible conditions and became more involved in political and social work. Within this environment of rapidly expanding capitalism and industrialism, Marx wrote the com his Communist Manifesto, which is the basis for Marxism, socialism, and communism. Overall, Marx was highly influenced by the conditions of workers during the Industrial Revolution and by the silencing of Germany's government to stop any form of change from happening. Karl Marx's contributions to communism began by establishing the fundamental ideas of socialist and communist beliefs. In his theory of history, Marx proposed that history is surrounded and focused on the material struggle of humanity. Marx called this material strife class struggle and further defined this as a clash between the proletariat and the bourgeoisie. Further explaining this theory, Marx published his magnum opus, The Communist Manifesto. In this book, Marx laid the pavement for communism in his foundational beliefs regarding politics, economics, and society. Marx's manifesto was later used as a building blocks for Vladimir Lenin's Bolshevik Revolution, the Soviet Union, and other communist nations. Though these regimes stayed straight away from much of what Marx originally intended, they did stick to the fundamental theory of history that Marx originally proposed, which was class struggle and the need to get rid of the bourgeoisie. Karl Marx's contributions to communism can still be seen, especially in modern American society. The Communist Party of the United States of America is still active and very prevalent. This can be seen with labor unions throughout America, which most directly accomplished Marx's original goals of helping the working class. Communist leaning leaders such as Bernie Sanders are also highly popular and influential in American politics and government. The core principles of Marxist communist beliefs can still be seen in American society to, as well. Fighting for the better treatment of workers is a very prevalent issue that is still highly discussed in America. Along with this class division between the 1% of rich Americans and the rest of the working class is seen as another major issue within American society and politics. Overall, Karl Marx's form of communism is still prevalent throughout American society 
and is still working towards the betterment of the bourgeoisie, which was Karl Marx's original goal for forming his ideology.